Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Equestria War, playing as the Griffonian Empire. So the last time we we had the ascent of our king, our emperor, Grover the Sixth, and I made a couple choices here that, you know, not everyone really agrees with, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. Uh, most normally, I'd probably go with Hear Them Out, just because that's probably more the style of Grover the Sixth. But we want to go to war a little bit more, so we got to send in the tanks, man. We really got to send in tanks. Doesn't mean we like it. But it's a necessary evil. But how about we convince the, the detractors? Even among those who support the Emperor, there are dissidents. Their grievances are not yet severe enough to mer merit punishment, but the Kaiser Patai must project an image of strength and unity. Favors and concessions would be enough to secure their allegiance while rooting out any ideas of disobedience. Good. And also right now, I'm training the huge army that's going to defend against these guys down here. And I've also made them 40 combat with because if you take a look at the line one division versus like six not really good not really good so i have to make a 40 combat with and i'm making a ton of forts along this entire line especially around saint peter's hoof because that's going to be really really important as well uh the longer i wait the stronger they become but let's be real they're already pretty strong born to fly eighth generation chance sure that sounds great so the main comments were just mostly addressing the emperor and his decision to Send in tanks, which, you know, which is, it is what it is. Cool. Uh, we're definitely going to need some more fighters here. De most definitely. Let's see. Do I have any jet? I did make some more jet fighters just to stay around here, actually. Oh, the Kaiser's speech. So if you want to read this, go right ahead. He will not rule with an iron fist. The problem is that any further reforms were being worked on. Warning his subjects to beware any radical promises. A great deal changed through violent revolution. The Empire would change as it moved into a new era of modernity, but that was no excuse to simply charge forward with a reckless abandon. The Kaiser ended his speech by urging his subjects to have patience as the Empire adapted to the challenges it faced in this new era and reminded them that progress must always be tempered by restraint, lest the whole Empire unraveled into chaos once more. Nice. So I already made a couple guys here. I was just kind of waiting to do this. Good. Because some of these guys have nothing on them. Uh, you guys can have that, probably. And you, this is going to be the most concentrated area of absolute destruction that there ever was one. Uh, I guess we can do a set of this. That's fine, too. And then we'll grab some jet tactical bombers. <clears throat> I've made a lot. I've made a lot of jet tactical bombers. That's awesome. So, oh, cool. So let's permit some regulations. Regionalism, I mean. Even with the modern communication technology we have, the Empire's domains are vast, which means that responses to events are not always as quick as we'd like. However, if we permit regions that are known <clears throat> to be pacified certain autonomies, it would make administering our realm much more straightforward. We are prepared for the protests that would inevitably spring from the troublesome provinces, and we lose political power, stability, but we get more recruitable population. Which is, eh, it is what it is. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. Good. Good. Very nice. And Navy wise, we're doing okay. We have another light cruiser. He's nine out of ten. Shove him right there for now. Which is okay. Cool. And I'm trying to get some anti-air. Actually, here we don't with that. Mmm. <clears throat> That's good. My apologies. Let's see. Nice. Oops. Don't need console commands for now. Alright. So we will go to war once our guys are full and pretty much ready. Uh, let's go and grab some more land night attack. Because I want these guys to train until they're done training. Since I'm, I made sure everyone was 40 combat with. So, permit regionalism, release of prisoners. Not all griffins who are in prison for inciting instruction are harboring the true guilt. Some are simply at the wrong place at the wrong time or are misblamed by their opportunistic enemies. By releasing those whose crimes are non existent or minuscule, we shall garner the public's goodwill while the r real malcontents remain in prison until they repent for their misdeeds. Now, can I get some more stability? <clears throat> Excuse me, we need stability. Stability for the Empire. Hmm, that's not worth it. Ban communism, that's not that's not worth it. Ooh. 
More weekly stability. Hmm. 120. Oh, wow. Ban fascism? Probably not. That would really hurt us. Deharmony. Weekly stability. How many... How many weeks... Are there... 120 days? So it's about 17-ish. About 17. And then 17 times 0.7... Let's see, 17 times 0.7. So you get about 11. So basically, you get like 1, maybe 2% more stability than where you started at. So it is okay. Freedom from us. Well, and I'm not going to read this. You can go ahead and read this if you want. So even though the, this limited release might have disappointed some of the more hardline progressives within the Empire, for most, it was a chance to reunite with loved ones that have been missing in the Imperial prison system for years or even decades. The day of the release was marked with celebrations across the Empire, and the Emperor himself delivered a speech on the radio, reminding the newly released criminals that his kindness was not infinite and that he would not be so generous to any who abuse his kindness to return to a life of sedition and crime. Good. Next up, draft a constitution. Ooh, more harmony support. That's not good. Knights of Arcturus. Oh no, we lose Knights of Arcturus. I like that one. I don't remember what it is. Oh yeah. What? 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 No. So, ever since Grover I acquired the idol of Boreas and formed our empire, the function of the state has always been organized through various custom, limited laws, precedents, and the emperor's character. It is time to set this as the spirit of all these old rules and formalize the Griffonian way of ruling into constitution. It shall rest on the pillars of autocracy, faith, and the Griffonian national spirit. No, not Knights of Arcturus. No, actually, what are our reforms already? We lose political power, get more stability, support for unaligned. Hmm. Yeah, if we have to become unaligned, that's fine. Just please, nothing else. Please. <laughs> uh, go down through an extra army over here, because they're going to get smacked to hell over here. I already know. Um, they're just going to get smacked down. That's why I'm making so many forts. I've got an okay -ish fort line. Level 3 stuff probably isn't really good enough, but whatever. It'll be what, it, what it'll be. Oh, it looks like we got so much of this already. You know what? Let's make some anti-air. Not worth much. But, you know, everything has its uses. There you go. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, look, I'm building the fort line up here, too. Just in case. Because I'm going to imagine we're probably going to lose Stalingrad territory and be forced to push back up this way. So, that's... That's probably what I'm thinking here. Drafted Constitution, the new Reichskanzler. The storm is passing, and now that we've crushed those foolish cries for democracy, it is time to appoint an official head of government. Many protesters called for such an appointment, but we will do so on our own terms, and the new Reichskanzler will serve only at the discretion of the Emperor. Good. Good. Actually, does that give me any more stability? No. I didn't think it would. Snowy mountains, you guys are doing infrastructure there, which is important. The low echelon support. Gives more fighter detection. Semi-modern artillery upgrade. This will be too long. Anti-air. Anti... Huh. Come on, come in handy. Born to fly. Good. Support companies. Uh, yeah, make them dig in even harder. Now, they're digging attrition over here, which is really nice. Over here, not so much. You get, we're almost ready to go. Except these guys got to train a little bit more. Cap it at 7. Maybe. Cool Imperial Reservist Modern Tank. So, uh, if you want to read this, go right ahead. Eckhart was not one to waste time, however, and immediately after his appointment ceremony had finished, he set out to accomplish a program of limited reform that the Kaiser part high espoused. To achieve a balance between the newly made democratic institutions of the Empire and the absolute authority of the Kaiser. Uh, daily political power gain. Oh. Cool. And, uh, I'm, I'm not doing that, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. We're gonna have to do war soon. Only allow you to use civilian economy law. Student protest. How bad are student protests? It seems like if I don't take... Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Uh, I need that manpower. I need to raise my conscription levels anyways. Uh, if I don't go to... If I do this, it seems like we could have some really bad problems. So let's ignore that for now, and then do, like, the threat from the sea. Both offensively and defensively, air superiority is essential for naval vessels to perform their duties. The Naval High Command has requested a modernization of the specialized bombers, which will be indispensable in securing our control of the seas. 
Good. Now, some of you guys are going to get you guys already dropped. And organization and equipment. Come on, get in their stuff. Good. 65%. I need 100% here, man. And I have my knights poised to strike those tanks, which is good. Uh, we might as well start getting in just a war goal. Or we do a war goal here. How many divisions do they have here? Oh, uh, they have quite a bit, actually. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, it's going to be something like that. <clears throat> this is going to be one really tough war. I can already tell. Bop, 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 bop. Just in case. Yeah. Another general. 82 political power is quite a bit. Sophia Silverwing. So be it. So be it. They'll, they'll be able to hold. They'll be able to hold. Any more divisions. Oh, another knight. Good. These guys are still training, which is fine. Anti air upgrades. Static anti air damage. I don't think anyone ever uses that, but whatever. Let's go ahead and do that. Because if they... We have just so few divisions, we kind of have to do that. Um, good. That's nice and all, but what if we got more recon as well? Now, half you guys are going to come here. Half you guys are going to come down here. Good. And then... Yeah, do that. Good. Yeah, they're pretty They're pretty beefy. Pretty beefy enemies here. Do I do want to go to war? Let's see how many ships do I have. In oh, 12. Nice. That's a few too many capital ships for me, for my liking right now. I'm going to throw you right here. You guys... You know what? Just throw them right there. There's going to be a really huge task force that's really not screened very well, but whatever. I got two super heavy battleships here. That's awesome. Cool. So we will do adapt changeling bomber models. Our good friends at changelings have modernized their country in a remarkably good time span, turning what was once a backwater wasteland into an efficient multi militarized regime. They've been generous enough to share their latest tactical bomber blueprints with us, and our Air Force commanders believe that these could be very easily adapted for Griffins. Cooperation has always has its benefits. And we get 30 tactical bombers. Wow, congrats. Alright, so. Oh. I forget where I sent them. Go go there then. Cool. Alright. Let you guys stop training. I know I just started you guys on a training regimen, but whatever. It's gonna have to stop. Let them get some more organization. So a lot of these guys are green. It's not bueno, I know. But we do have land forts around here, so that should say something, right? How many land forts we got? Four? We got four land forts around here? That's not bad. And over here we got level nines. Cool. You know what? That's going to start justifying all these guys. Ooh, maybe we'll let them train a little bit more if it takes too long to do this. Oh, that takes a... Holy cow, I should have done this earlier. Days. 125 days, that's much better. 125, you guys. 168, cool. We're gonna go declare one Yak Yakistan. Alright, so you guys can go back to training. Which is okay. I know I'm spending a lot of time not going to war, but it's, it's a necessary evil. It's definitely, absolutely necessary evil for this. Anyone else that needs to train, go ahead. Anyone else? Uh, the tanks are going to have to. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears> hmm, <throat> good old Griffonian coffee. Some of the best. Ooh, we need jet carrier fighters. Yeah, that's true. Guns, you can probably load that by five. That's good. Light tanks, you might as well do that. Mechanized stuff. Toad anti air, thank you. You know, since we're here, it's probably a bad idea. 
I'm gonna convert like two of these to mechanized infantry. The speed isn't as good, but since we're getting upgrades, it'll it'll be where it needs to be soon enough. Oh, I forgot about this. Uh, that lowers our armor by a little bit. Give more defense breakthrough. I want the air attack. If they're going to use close air support, I almost never use it. We're going to use it in this case. The death of a titan. Oh no, no death! If you want to read this, no, 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 no. Then Grover embraced him with caught him by surprise, but he weakly hugged back. Nevertheless, I'll come visit again as soon as I'm able to. Grover promised. But when he came on the following day, the bed was empty. The Archon had joined his father in the heavenly mountains among the fountains of gold. No, no. The Regent, no! That is... terrible. Hmm. Oh wow, we need more manpower. And that's why I can't lower my conscription level. All adults serve. Although, all adults are going to have to serve by the time I'm done here. Let's see you guys... 25 probably is, yeah. Keep an eye on this. Let just let time go on for now. Oh, we still got 100 days. That's fine. That gives us more than enough time, hopefully, to continue researching things. And actually, how's my deficit of mechanized? Oh, it's really good. Nice. Very nice. Even the tanks are training, which is a good thing to see. Because they are. Oh, only 122 armor, huh? Do they have full stock battles? Oh, I guess they do. Good. Death from above. So, as knowledge of the dangers the aircraft poses becomes apparent, bombing raids are becoming increasingly dangerous and uncertain to succeed. The solution lo lies in redesigning our aircraft to fly higher, above the range of anti-aircraft defenses, where they can deliver their payload with impunity. Cost and effectiveness will have to be considered, however, but we are certain that a fleet of these bombers would probably do a good job. I don't know what it says, but probably do a good job. Good, you guys come there. Yep, challenging them. Yep, challenging them. Improved anti-air, good. Get even better anti-air. Probably these guys aren't huge, but they're you know, near the end game, so. It's actually end game right now. They'll probably be massive. Better recon companies, good. Military police, okay. Logistic companies, just in case. <clears throat> yeah, that's scary. Level 1s. And they're level 10 forts, which is nice, but still. Alright, good. So, they even have a lot of soldiers up here, too, which isn't ideal. <clears throat> so, my goal when we begin this war is probably to blow up their navy as best I can. They have a lot of ships. But they have about 10 capital ships at max, or 11, I guess. But if we can get rid of those battle cruisers and those battleships, their carrier, which isn't looking very good. Should be okay for us. Spy-wise, we're still doing okay. You're both home. Wow, that's red. Destabilizing the country. Wow, that's really not good. Even better anti-air. Uh, how about air doctrine? We're doing well on that. Naval doctrine, we're done with. Yeah, let's get some more piercing. Spurs fighting, good. And now, guarding our bombers. Bombers remain may be capable of inflicting destruction on a large scale, but they remain a vulnerable target, and much like archers of old, they cannot be left without protection. We need to invest in specialized fighters capable of escorting them and seeing them through any opposition. Absolutely. Alright. Keep an eye on this. We just want the yaks. We just want the yaks. Alright, we got about a month left. Alright, you guys are almost done. Actually, some of you guys are almost done. Not everyone, though. Three, two, one, and... Good enough. Good, we challenged their pretensions. Are you guys not done yet? Nice. Ooh, better engineers, awesome. Can I get... Hmm, we're gonna wait on that, then. Alright. Get your skill levels up. I don't know if these guys... Ooh, Lassie the Harsh. I don't remember getting her as a general. Huh. Alright, well, this is going to be do or die time. Angered. Yep, we are definitely angered. Night vision. Good.
More divisions, cool. Three guys right there. If we need to pull the guys off of here, we can pull them down here then. And it's given us enough time to build plenty of forts. That's a very good thing. And ooh, some of that too. Ah, another guy here. Good. So, <clears throat> my goal is not to attack. Just let them attack me. Attack my line like crazy. Oh, they put so many divisions around here already. God dang it. I wasn't planning on that. Just a little bit of time. Just a few forts around here. Hope we can win. Yeah, this is gonna not be very good for us. <laughs> ah, that's okay though. Yeah, level. Wait, you're only level two. But you're level ten. No, oh, you're level ten over here. Ah, you're level ten over there. You're level ten over here. That makes sense. I suppose. Uh. Cool. Ten. Seven, six, five. I was kind of waiting for at least the level one forts around here. Cool. Maybe level two. Gotta love coffee. Hmm. Good stuff. And good. Guarding our bombers. Awesome. Protect ire. Project Arcturus. War in the century remains a grueling brawl. While weapons and tactics have changed, war seems to have never changed. Or so says common wisdom. However, our scientists are now telling us about a new class of weapons, one capable of fundamentally changing warfare. They say these bombs will be like Arcturus descending or descended upon the mortals and make us giant among armies of infants. Well, let's see what happens. Uh, once I do this. Once I do this. I know. I know. I want to go to war as fast as possible, but... Where's my jet bombers? Jet tactical fighters. I need these guys in the air. And we got space for one more group. We've waited long enough. And they're attacking crossing. Oh my goodness, that's not good. Oh, this is a huge bad idea. Now we're trying to push into there. I need my tanks to immediately move into here and close that up. Oh, look at it. Nice. Good. Yeah, I definitely gonna need some of those guys. Uh, are there any naval battles going on? I'd probably assume that there would be. B. Is anything going on down here? Could you guys actually win if I push? Hmm. It says they might be able to. I'm I'm kind of tempted. Is intelligence good enough for that? Oh, definitely not in some areas. Definitely not. You guys can all hold right there. Excuse me, son. I definitely gave you no... I told you to probably stop. Thank you. Uh, that... We actually won a battle over here, which is actually kind of nice. Oh, boy. Oh, man, look at... Oh, boy, they're trying to sink the... My ships. We're going to lose quite a few ships, probably. Alright, so you guys immediately won, which is amazing. You guys definitely... Do, do, ooh, I forgot about this, too. Well, it's a good thing we got more than enough garrisons for now. And we have this island too, and then we'll have our knights ready to go, which means I have my tanks ready to go right now to help cover any holes in the line that might be not having a good time. If that's the case, probably right here. And drive a wedge all the way up to here. Alright, losses. 19,000 versus a third of a million. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, what's going on? Okay, so they're really, they're really trying to bomb the heck out of my ships. Which makes sense. Which makes absolute sense. Oh, let's raise it to 20. I'm, I'm shredding some of their task forces, which is... What? Our enemies have struck at the heart of the nation? When did they nuke... What? 
Uh, I was not expecting getting nuked at my capital. I mean, I was expecting to get nuked, like, in, uh, Stalingrad territory. But my capital? Really? Good, yeah, we cut him off. First victory, hopefully, of many. Oh, we actually lost a battle cruiser. Oh, that's an early battle cruiser, though. That makes sense. Mm, we only have room for 100 here. Hope you guys can make it. Should be able to. Gross Island. Gross. Gross. Alright, so the Knights will be done soon. My tanks are getting into position. They've already lost almost half a million. Nice. Yeah. This is... This is dangerous. Skyfall? Our poor little city. Yeah, that sucks. Um, yeah, maybe I should put some stuff there, but whatever. We should be okay. As long as they don't use paratroopers, we should be okay. Uh, I probably can't nuke anywhere, honestly, for myself. Yeah, I probably can't nuke. That's okay, though. We're not going to use petty instruments of war like that. Everyone's going to come right there. Come up there. Attempt to break through. Come up there. Come up that way. Oh, man. It just, it just mostly just their planes. I mean, we can shred any task force that they have. It's just their planes. They're so damaging. All right, so where are you at? Yeah, that battleship not looking good. I hope our admiral is getting a lot of strength. Oh, look. We found a task force. An actual... Beefy task force. But they can't do anything against us. Mmm, I love it. I said it before, I'll say it again. I really enjoy the naval combat here. Ooh, nice, level 6. And now we can do more stuff. Another trait. Less visibility could be really good. Ground pounder, shore bombardment. I'm going to go with ground pounder. Or no, no. Visibility, consumer expert. Which doesn't make too much sense since we, since we have so many huge ships. But whatever. We lost an early cruiser, which is fine. I really don't care about cruisers that much. If anything, you guys come here. Alright, so you guys probably still won't be able to push. That's what the tanks are for here. Just do not get encircled. Armor cap feeling good. Heavy attack. The attack is fine. Oh, let's get this one. Just the chance to receive critical hits. That'd be really good to do. Ah, the first of many encirclements, probably. Keep one of you guys there to hold. Go there. Get up to here. Get up to here. If you want to move, just take that. Take them out. Oh, another task force. A knight. Oh, good. The knights are done. Great. They st kind of stopped attacking in some areas. Are we winning? Yeah, we kind of are winning. Um, really? I could send you over the sea to help destroy these guys. New Ma Manhattan. Ooh, that's pretty dangerous, though. That's extremely dangerous. Hmm. I don't think we... I'm really going to use the tanks to push. I'm going to... You know what? I'm going to send you guys over here. To the safest spot we can. And let's say nuke us. Of course, so. Cool. And I want to watch... What naval battle was it? Was it this one? It might have been this one. Oh, they got a lot of planes. Tons and tons and tons of planes. A 20? Yeah, it's 30. Tons of repairs. Tons and tons and tons of repairs. We should have enough dockyards to help cover everything here. If not, then make a 40. This is the most I've ever put dockyards on to help support, like, my ships. That's insane. Oh, did we lose somebody? Hey, we lost a live cruiser. That's fine. Oh, we actually lost a battle cruiser. That's an early ship, though. Good. Alright, so the tanks have done a great job. <clears throat> and I just got nuked in Club Hot. Huh. Oh, you actually was you were defeated there, huh? Interesting. Well, they're definitely nuking me. And they've all died. They've lost a million, I've lost fifty thousand. Ooh, the second for question is already done. Nice. Good job, guys. That's why you send in tanks. Now, we're probably going to try this. 
Let me like that. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. What's going on around here? Hundreds of things are just getting destroyed around here. Do we have any bigger air bases here? Uh, I'll do it here first. Put in the jet tactical bombers. Or jet fighters. Not jet tactical bombers. That'll do nothing for us. Once we get enough gu of these guys in here, their ships... Their planes won't be able to do nearly as much. Ciphers? I mean... Not Dread League. Yeah. Cool. And here, let's get some of that. That'd be great. Where are you at? Can you actually... I doubt you can actually push. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm like, why do you... Why can you say you can do that when you obviously can't? Good. Now. Big Knights. You're doing a great job. But you're going to come here. Pride you. And you're going to invade Freeside. New Freeside. Because I don't know how much they're stacking things around here. Uh, we can't really cut this group off, even though I would really love to. Uh, you can try that, I suppose. Pridea here as well. Mm, Bucksbane, perhaps. New Manhattan. If we're going to pretty much invest all these guys in, they know the risks. They know the risks, most definitely. Go up there, too. They know. And since we're here, we are going to go ahead and do this. I gotta make sure we got enough naval bases so that our ships can repair well enough. Well, there's that other task force I was looking at. Ooh, what's going on down here? Now oh, just some convoys. Enemy subbies. Going to go boom, boom, boom. Cool, thanks. You guys need more infrastructure, maybe? Oh yeah, you definitely, 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 definitely do. If that's the case, I'm not gonna use my tanks there. I'm going to push down here, then. Something small. Ah. Gotta love coffee. Are we getting even invaded somewhere? Oh, boy. Oh, we lost a couple of ships. That's not good. Hey! Look at that. I like the green. Yeah, don't travel through here, man. Real bad idea. Plus you'll see, yeah, no. Seems like a lot of our ships are getting destroyed now since we don't have as much cover. Let's see. Throw in some of these guys. All right, nice. Another task force going bye-bye. Ships, 40. You know what? Screw it. 50. How many ships need repairs? Everything? 50 should be enough, right? 60? You know what? I'm going to go with 100. I'm going to go with 100 just because we're not going to need ships for where we're going after this. Air mass repair. So, Project Iron. For decades now, Equestrian and... Severnayan scientists have toyed with the idea of using rocket-powered aircraft to thrust themselves into the sky. Our scientists, however, have understood that these ideas are as naive as those of Celestia and Luna, raising the sun and the moon. Rather than looking towards space, we can use these rockets to strike targets much further than any bomber could without any risk of loss. Yes, very good. And this Admiral, he's got to be learning a lot here. He has got to be. Uh, do we have any spare ships? Yes, we... Oh my god. Uh, everyone's busy in a battle right now. Uh, you guys go there then. He's, oh my god, he's level 8? You just saw him as level 5. Retreat chance decision. Uh, let's do that, why not? There's nothing else that you could really do there. Nice. Cool. Military, I don't want to do military police, that's fine with me. Are the tanks down here? Yes, they are. They're good to go. Push, 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 push. It's not going to be a huge instrument, but it'll be what it'll be.
Very nice. Ooh, we lost a convoy. That's okay. They're still trying to move stuff around here? They're crazies. Ooh, what's up here? Uh, a convoy. They've broken our ciphers, you know, so be it, whatever. They still attack me. They're not really attacking me anywhere. Uh, could you guys win, actually? You guys might be able to. In a certain location or two. Like here, maybe a little bit. We don't send half of everyone. You can help support the attack here, maybe. Not. You guys can do well right there. So. See, division wise, uh, 1.32. They've got a lot of divisions. Probably double the amount we have. Cool. We've got time to go on a little bit more. We can get 400 more planes here. Two. Spider threes. Good. 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 Ace pilot promoted. Great. And you are deployed. Now that's good. Oh, that's awesome. But since we're here too, gotta keep in mind, what are the tactical bombers going to be doing? Because we got 30,000 extra regular tactical bombers, but I want to use these guys. Right there. Because when we need them, we're going to need them. And look at these guys. They're going to be dead. Very soon. Very soon. Very cool. And get that. Let's improve infrastructure. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, we can improve that too. Firefighting drills. Great. Get the next one immediately. And you guys are going to go bye bye. Good. Alright, so I'm going to pull these guys out. And you're going to help cover this portion of the line down here. That being said, you are going to shorten up your line down here. About right there. Nice. That'll be good. That'll be very, very good. Infrastructure-wise, do we need to put our guys anywhere else? Yes. Tanks. They did a great job. I know, I'll move them as soon as our guys have shifted around a little bit more. Which would be a good thing. Good God, there's so many things right there. They might sink a convoy or two, whatever. Well, this guy has so many medals, we can't see all of his stats. That's impressive. 45, maybe 100 was maybe a little bit too much. Larger ships can hit. Actually. Uh, you guys these two. Good hospitals, good. Less than a million manpower, which is not good or ideal. Ah, I didn't go with maintenance companies this game. Ah. At this point. We try naval invasion, maybe. Uh, do that. Throw them down here. We're done with building up more armies. We don't need all this extra manpower now. Save it. We're going to need it later. What? You stopped doing this as well? What? Project I are good. Get a hundred more. <clears throat> and so now... We are not going to demobilize the economy. We're just going to kind of hang out and construct stuff. Because why not? Ah, very good, very good. So, tanks. You have enough divisions down here. Supply is not really that bueno. But so we'll make it bueno. Zoom, zoom. Three. Ooh, you guys can probably just do that. Without you, you could probably come up there. Without you, you could probably come up there. Without you, you could probably come up there. Without you, you could probably do that. Not much, but concerning the supply issues, I think this is for the best. And help them out. Immediately 
Push him down. And you come here immediately. Mm, very nice. Good, good, good. Now, I want to make sure we... At this point, I'm pretty sure that the enemy's navies probably aren't that great. Which means I can probably use these guys a little bit more. Our sh my ships, our shippies. Oh, well, actually, well, the Equestria still got a main task force with 69. Nice. But still, good. Uh, what do we want? Air support. Oh, it's more agility. Absolutely get more agility right now. Nice. What's going on here? Is he getting a few convoys? Probably. Oh, that's a lot of convoys. That's not good. Ah, oh, another encirclement. Another good day. Oh, no one's guarding there. So be it. Uh, we can do that. There you go. I know this is going to take a while. There's going to this. There'll be one more episode in this campaign, probably. That's probably what I'm seeing here. One more episode. You guys are doing great, holding the line, doing an awesome job. Now, I wonder if I want to come down here. And we we'll keep going towards the coast. This is going to really stretch out this line quite a bit. That's okay. Let's do that. This supply is not great. Make a break for the coast as fast as possible. Just encircle those guys. Get rid of some of their divisions. Ah, nice. Our ships are getting repaired as fast as possible. Nice. Oh, we're sinking so many planes. We're shooting them down. Alright. I really don't want to try it, this invasion. But I do want to try it. It's probably going to go very poorly for us. Hmm, actually. Let's see if are here. South Griffins. Freedom Gulf. Hit their air bases. If you can. Cool. Probably a bad idea. I want you to attack. I want you to attack as well. Because then that's going to go. If possible. Be here too. See what we can do. Oh, uh, raiding convoys like crazy around here. I love it. I just need... Okay, we got that tile. Good. Immediately cut them off. And do that up there too. Oh, we got, we took New Manhattan. Take the airbase. And get up here and cut them off over here too. Make sure we complete the encirclement. You guys, we can work there. Put some more pressure on these guys down here in the south. You guys come over here. Take every tile you can. These guys are starving for supplies. I know I'm ignoring everything else. This, this attack is absolutely necessary for now. Ah, oh, we broke over. We broke them over. Good. Nice. Awesome job, guys. Awesome, 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 awesome job. Now kill them off. Ah, Dreadly. Cool. Military police. Great. And there's really nothing we can do that with. But whatever. We do that one next. Good. And I forgot about this too. Well, I didn't forget about it, but the other section was just a little bit more important. Just do that. Okay, there. Send the tanks in that way, that way. You know, just normal stuff. And they go bye bye. Beautiful. Hmm. This is not beautiful though. There's a little thing right here. Yeah, just get down there. You know what? Everyone come here and then go that way. Could you do that, maybe? Because I want to cover that area soon enough. Cool. So I'm happy you guys come here. You know what? Just hold for now. Take one of you guys. Take that tile, please. Thank you. Good. I just want to make sure we cover this hole up as well. Don't give them a chance to get any more strength. Except for fire mains. Good. Keep it up. They can't go anywhere since I've cornered them. Which is awesome. Take them out, take them out. Awesome. But that's going to end today's episode, my friends. 
Tomorrow will be the last episode, maybe, in the campaign. Maybe, since we still need to take out the Dread League, but we're doing pretty darn well. We've lost about 125,000 versus 2.38 million. We've taken New Manhattan, which is awesome. And then we'll begin an invasion of the Commonwealth of New Maryland tomorrow. And maybe go to war with the Dread League, maybe, even though I might not know how to take them out. But if you know how to take them out, let me know in the comments below. But anyways, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you all tomorrow as we are going to struggle against the United Ponies Alliance. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.